Hey everyone, welcome back to another Splatoon General Tips video. As you guys know, Splatoon 2 is already out, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop giving you tips for Splatoon 1, because lots of people still play that game, including me. And most of the Splatoon 1 tips still apply to Splatoon 2, so be sure to check out the previous tips in the video description below. So with that said, these tips will now contain a mixture of Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2 tips. And as always, if you already know these tips, great. But there are constantly new players to the Splatoon series and there are people who have been playing for a while that don't even practice these things. So anywho, let's get started. Number 21. You can see when a player is landing from a squid jump. When someone is jumping to another player, you can actually see the exact moment the person is going to land from a squid jump. If you look closely, this arrow will start depleting, and that indicates the time it takes for the person to jump to his or her destination. That means the player will land when the arrow is empty. This is helpful because not only can you time your bombs more accurately, but I always see a lot of people shooting at enemies' jump locations way too early. And that's a bad thing to do because not only do you waste ink, but you reveal your location to nearby enemies. Number 22. Leaving the Lobby Have you ever been in lobbies where it takes forever to find players and you just sit in there waiting for it to kick you out? You can leave the lobby whenever you want by going to the home screen, wait there for 10 seconds, and then when you come back, boom, you're dropped out from the lobby. Number 23. How to Jump to Bacons if you have motion controls turned on, you can move your cursor over the beacon and select it. If you have motion controls turned off, you can just use the right stick to move the cursor. Number 24. Don't stand still while looking at the map. If you remember tip number 11, I went into great detail about why you shouldn't stand still while looking at the gamepad. The same thing applies to Splatoon 2. You might not know this, but you can move while looking at the map with the left stick. Yeah, like I said, most of the tips in Splatoon 1 still apply to Splatoon 2, so check them out. And if you want to know more about tip number 11 and how to efficiently use your time while respawning, you can check out that video here. Number 25. How to efficiently dodge Tenta Missiles. Tenta Missiles has two purposes. It's designed to deal damage to you and it also acts as a crowd control weapon. Crowd control, if you don't know, is having the ability to influence an opponent's movement or actions in a game. And Tenta Missiles does exactly that. When players realize they are locked down with Tenta Missiles, they always panic and swim away really fast to avoid the attack. Don't do this. Why? When you swim away really fast to avoid it, you are giving up a lot of distance. And that's what the opponent wants you to do, even if the Tenta Missile doesn't kill you. And by swimming away really fast, you're causing the Tenta Missiles to cover a lot of turf. Instead, when you're locked on, wait a bit, and as each missile lands, slowly swim back. That way, you're not retreating so far back. And if you look at the amount of turf the Tenta Missile covered, compared to if we swam really fast, it's pretty much all in one spot. So don't panic when you're locked on, just swim away slowly. And you don't always have to back away from Tenta Missiles, you can swim forward too. Now there are exceptions, I mean if you're locked on and someone else is also shooting at you, then you have to get the heck out of there. That's, that's just common sense. Or if the Raymaker is in jeopardy and you're locked on, book it. Get the heck out of there. Take a look at this clip. There's less than a minute left. They grabbed the Rainmaker and they almost took the lead. So we popped the Rainmaker, but they locked on me with the Tenta missiles. Do I just sit back and try to efficiently dodge the missiles? No, I can't let them have the option of taking the lead. I had to prioritize, so I grabbed it and booked it out of there. 
Anyway, that's it for now. I hope this helps, and please share this video if it did. I really appreciate it. Thanks, love you all, bye!